that you showed for Sen. I love MC now, and I want him to win everything. <laughs> well, he you know, actually, you know his. Uh, he actually had an interview, and I mean, don't quote me on this because I could be completely lying my ass off right now. But he actually, he actually said in an interview that the, that he watches a lot of professional wrestling, and for showmanship, he has the BM. He's yeah. like he wants to be like the bad guy. He wants to be like oh, yeah. uh, I don't know if you guys remember this from from wrestling, but the NWO. The New World Order with, like, Hulk Hogan and, like, I don't know who else was in it. The Undertaker, I guess, and some other people, you know? I don't know if you ever watched, used to watch wrestling. But anyway, I never, so they... I never did, uh. But, I mean, the whole thing is just entertainment, you know? So he was trying, for oh, yeah. entertainment value, he wanted to, like, you know, do the throat slashing gesture and do the, and do the, uh, you know, the BM and stuff and be, like, yeah. really, really cocky you know, and all this other stuff. I love, um... I love Idra's reaction to it. There's like some BM done by uh, done by him in I think it was like MLG Columbus. MC like did the throat slashing thing, and then Idra just flips him off. And it's great. <laughs> Idra's, Idra's BM is like it's just oh, man. Speaking of which, I haven't really heard a lot from Idra lately. Yeah, he's he's kind of like I don't know. He hasn't really done that much. I think that Idra is a fad that is going to pass. To be honest. He was, I don't, he was I don't know, really man. good back in the day. He was really, really good, but I think that he's just like, I think that he was seriously overrated. You think so? I don't know, because he was I think so. he was like the only American pro gamer in Brood War over in Korea for like a really long yeah. time, you know? Yeah, but... So, I mean, it's not well, unfounded. The reason why he was like famous in the first place was because he was known from Brood War. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Just being that he's, guy he's, that went to Korea. He, He's definitely a very solid player, but his problem is that he's not at all creative, it seems. And he's just so consistent that it actually becomes a problem. Because you can sort of predict what he's going to be doing. Yeah. I, but, you know, I feel like a lot of the top players are like that. You know, like, you got Grubby, who's just going to make 20 gateways. <laughs> but he's got <laughs> intense, intensely good micro because of his Warcraft 3 games. You got, yeah. you know, Calm Minigun, who... who uh, um, who in general does? I mean, people like to stick in their in their uh, in their comfort zone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that's most people outside of Korea. A lot of Koreans they'll they'll play twenty games in a row of cheese and then twenty games in a row of some other build order and then try to do co completely different things. And the the thing the difference between us and them right now, anyways, is that there aren't a whole lot of people outside of Korea that are practicing eleven or twelve hours a day. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is kind I of an interesting actually... building placement by uh, Hale. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> at the weird. bottom right. He's got. I think that Stella's actually trapped in there. You think so? I think you're right. I think so. Yeah, I know. I know he's trapped in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna guard that place in case they ever like blow up one of the gateway or the cybernetics core. <laughs> in case there's like a tiny drop in that one area, Hale's got it covered. Guys. Well, you know what I would do? I would get a robotics uh, facility as fast as I can, and then I would. I would uh, get a uh, warp prism out and move that thing. <laughs> leave no man behind. I like it, Kennedy. I like exactly. It. I can't leave. I can't be leaving men behind. <laughs> we do have a, uh, a an expansion command center now going up for Della. He is building it in his main base, so maybe he will tra transfer that into an orbital command or upgrade that to an orbital command before he actually pushes it out to his natural expansion. A small force of marines and two marauders are now pushing out across the map towards his quarry. Hale, who's got a zealot and two stalkers, four stalkers out front, and then of course the one zealot that is stuck Ooh, and back, and they're going to meet. Yes, there's a confrontation now at the Zelnaga Tower, and kind of poor Hale control by Hale. Does not have enough stuff here. He doesn't. This is going to be a very strong push if Della keeps on going, and it looks like he's not going to. <laughs> Just going to be. Pulling he's back. running back. D All does right. he have? Uh, he's got concussive uh, shell. He should have kept pushing. He could have picked off a couple more uh, units as they were tr um, running away. But getting Stim now, I'm probably going to be waiting for Stim to finish before he does actually push. Going to be waiting for that. Actually, Marine pushing Marauder, right. He's think, pushing right now. <laughs> I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Della. We don't know what these guys are doing. <laughs> yeah. at the expansion nexus is now down for Hale. He's going to start. Uh, hopefully, you never know. But hopefully, right now he should be. Uh, he should start. Uh, um, Putting some probes on that uh, expansion on those Reducing expansion minerals. I actually really like these Zelnaga watchtowers, by the way. Those, uh, those Zelnaga towers—they are so cool looking. Look how fancy they are. 
Uh, back when I was in a cult in California, back in the 90s, we used to actually go on the, like, something that looks pretty similar to those, when they were extended, and worship in front of them. Wait, you were in a cult? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. What? I, was oh never, I, I wasn't in I mean, a cult. You're from the internet, so I wouldn't put it past you. Right? <laughs> yeah, you don't know me, so, I mean, who knows? Maybe I wasn't a cult. Maybe you were in a cult. Maybe you're lying to me now. Oh, man, I can never trust you again, Kennedy. <laughs> there are definitely enough zealots and, stu and uh, not zealots, uh, there are definitely enough marauders and marines <laughs> here to take out this small force of stalkers. Cults. Talking about zealots now. Oh, Kennedy. Well, I was supposed yeah. to meet up with a comet as it was flying by, and I was supposed to take this, uh, this cyanide capsules, but uh, I didn't take them. I couldn't find oh, my man. Nikes. <laughs> I was supposed to kill myself where, while I was wearing Nikes, and I couldn't find my Nikes, so I ended up being late to the party, and everybody was dead uh, already, so I decided yeah, to become... And you never, yeah, you never want to be the last one. That's yeah, you don't want to be, yeah. Yeah, I just decided not to do it then. At that point, I was That's just like, all right, fine. You know what? I'm just going to go to college. Forget this. I missed the comet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll, 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 come, I'll make up for it next time it goes by in, like, 2059 or whatever. <laughs> yep. I think Hail here, not going to be in that great of shape, trying to get charged. Della just waiting for charge to finish, or uh, waiting for stim pack to finish, and it has finished, so he is going to be pushing in. Charge just a couple of seconds away. Oh, and he threw away almost all of those zealots. Three of them went down. One of them is really, really injured. They were way yeah. too far out ahead of his uh, stalkers, so they couldn't be Zealot protected. Has more than enough here. Ooh, actually, Guardian Shield is helping a lot. Another zealot goes in there, warping in a zealot behind it. Lots of stalkers, lots of marauders, lots of marines. This is going to be really close, actually. Although I do think that Dele does have enough to take Hale out here. Hale should begin pulling probes. Nope, going to just be warping more stalkers in, and he should be fine. Should be able to. For now, I mean, there's fine. another Ooh. six marines and three marauders heading up too. Both players yeah, floating a is... lot of minerals and a lot of gas. And you know what that means, silver guys? That means that you need to build more production facilities. It's true, it's true. Two bases can support a lot of production. But, um, yeah, Della keeping up this pressure. Hail warping in more zealots, and, uh, he has one soccer taking out those marauders. Lots of micro going on here from Delhi, but that might be his undoing as these stalkers and zealots are able to actually clear up these marines. He hasn't this done is... any economic damage Thanks. yet, so. Oh, God. Yeah. As long as Hale is able to keep up his macro, keep up those, uh, Corona boost and keep up those warp ins. He should be able to stabilize, and it looks like he is actually going to be able to push away Della. Oh boy. This is like probably the most intense match that I've ever seen in Silver King of the Hill. Wow. <laughs> I, this was, is my first that match that really I've seen close. at Silver King of the Hill, so it's. Oh, well, actually, it's my fourth match. But I've only seen him <laughs> for one night, so I can't really. This is definitely the most uh, exciting of the night. Yeah, this is probably one of the closest matches we've ever had on King of the Hill. Do you see three more gateways going down here? Blink about to finish, plus one weapons coming in in 50 in game seconds, which is about 35 real seconds. He needs a, a robotics bay and get those colossi out. Colossi are good units, yeah. They're really good. Yeah. At this yeah. point, with the MMM, which is, I mean, that's pretty much all that Della is focusing on. <laughs> in fact, he hasn't even seen any of the third M. Ooh. But he, he, sees, uh, he sees MM right now. Uh, Hale sees MM right now. He should be, uh, he should definitely be going Colossus. One or two Colossus out, and it would wipe out, you know, Charge Lots and Colossi right now would totally wipe out Della. Yeah. Both players going for their second expansion now. The Nexus good is a little see, bit behind see. the Command Center, but the Command Center does have to float over to where the, uh, the second expansion will be. Yeah, and it does have to turn into either a Planetary Fortress or an Orbital. So that's not too bad. Nice to see that they're expanding to the thirds before 20 minutes. Always a good thing. Came <laughs> up at about 15 minutes. Not terrible timing. Not terrible. Not no. terrible. Uh, especially time, since there were... Usually oh, well, I mean, with the amount of pressure that was going back and forth, with uh, like right outside of the base, like usually... At, right after I repel that, I would go for a, for a second expansion. But I'd usually also try to have an observer over at my opponent's base to see if he's uh, mounting up another attack and to check for a second expansion. I definitely want to put it down before my, uh, my opponent starts putting down their second expansion. That sounds about right. Sounds good. Hail warping in a lot more stalkers here. 
So Colossi Ooh, are now coming out. That's good. Yep. Indeed. Thermal Lance also coming down. One Colossus coming out. And these players are actually spending quite well. At least, you know, relative to um, silver level. Hovering at about 400 minerals, 400 gas. <laughs> it's because they're inside. both actually master. <laughs> <laughs> They are just messing with us. They said they were silver, but they're not. They're actually both Smurfs, but uh, we're not aware that each other are Smurfs. Bit of a bit of a twist of fate there. Hale actually has pretty good uh, um, saturation at his bases. Like he he's does, uh, does, he's doing yes. a really good job of saturating his mineral lines and not oversaturating, but actually saturating them decently. Yeah. Actually, both players are doing really well with that. Usually that's something that uh, that goes terribly wrong at the silver and gold levels. <laughs> yeah, I can't even like properly saturate my expos. So this is going to be a pretty interesting fight now. We've got uh, six medevacs, a bunch of marines with 1-1 one, one upgrades, as well as combat shields and marauders that have both concussive shell and uh, stim is out. So there's going to have to Whoa. be force field. Oh, and you know what? They're going to totally miss. Oh my god, so this is going to turn into He's going to get a couple research. free stalkers now. Now he's coming oh, no. back. Hale pulling his army back, and this is going to do a lot of damage, though. Out. Whoa! Should be able to actually take out this expo, but there we go. Colossus coming in, and no, he's going to. He needs force fields. Force fields. Where are the force fields? Oh my God! Terrible positioning here for Hale. There we go. Actually, surrounding Della's army <laughs> and just absolutely crushing everything. So when I said terrible positioning, I meant I meant great positioning. positioning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, that was a pathing glitch, I think. Like most of his arm, his army split. One went one path, and the other went around, and he ended up surrounding. So I don't know if he did that on purpose, which he probably didn't. But if he <laughs> did, fantastic maneuvering right there, and he ended up getting the surround. And with those charge lots, he was able to uh, he move in. The zealots were in front, tanking damage and doing a lot of damage with their side blade thingies. And uh, the Stalkers and Sentry stayed back while the Colossus stayed far back and did a ton of damage. It was really, really good, uh, the way that it worked out for him. And he is now up by 20 food, 20 supply. And he's headed over to the fourth expansion of Della, and he's going to force a cancel. Indeed, indeed. Della going for that expo, not a bad choice, I would say. After you lose a fight like that, you need to do something risky to try to pull back in the game. Hale actually checking his vision right now. He is not aware of that expo. He's actually just going to be moving up to the third, going to be taking it out rather quickly here. Della, Della does have a couple of uh, of Vikings now on in the in the fight to help with those Colossi. Yeah, and and now he's coming up behind. <laughs> Colossi way out of position there. Zealot's out of position, losing both Colossi actually. So Hale, it looks like he is going to be able to clean this up. But, uh, yeah, Dell is going to be in a very bad position, losing losing that third, and Hale is going to be... He's up by 60 food now. Game. Yeah, that is definitely not something that he wants. As a Terran player, you want to be ahead in food. He should pull his SCVs. He needs to pull his SCVs and attack. Hale's actually not managing this attack too well, leaving about half, of, more than half of his stalkers behind. Yeah, well, that happens uh, in the thick yeah. of the battle. It's true. Whoa, some long distance mining going on now over to the bottom left corner for uh, Hale. Yeah. And uh, now they're going back. Uh, all, right. all right. And the Nexus didn't get built. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, man. I hate when that happens. It's just uh, a, bit, uh, a bit frustrating. He's would, got quite I a bit like of money. To... Oh, he's got and he's got three uh, Colossi out now. He should be Chrono, and he is Chrono boosting his fourth Colossi. He should build another robotics bay so he can get two, or robotics facility rather, so he can get two, uh, two Colossi at a time. Especially with yeah, three mining bases going. Once his third base is up, he should definitely have a second one. And he should probably also split off into some extra tech also, and get uh, Templar or, or Dark Templar for the, uh, the late game. Was there actually anything in there? Yeah, I believe that was a full medevac. Had some marines and marauders. Usually, if you send out a drop like that, you do not want to send it through the, through the middle. Through the middle, yeah. Not, not, not a, usually uh, a good idea. Not the best choice ever, I would say. And, wow, so Della now has a lot. Nine uh, Vikings 
at his uh, natural. 